Look at all these awesome clouds going on right now. They are so awesome and I should be doing a time lapse of them or post it up with a real camera, but instead I have to go to dance. But don't get me wrong, I I love ballet and I love dancing and I love contributing to the arts and the community, but uh, it's really spreading me really thin. You know, it's it's hard to it's hard to give to yourself to everything you care about. Like I have Casey, I have my dog Zuko, I have my photography business. I'm trying to launch and do some more videography, cinematography stuff, as well as trying to do ballet. And it just wears me thin. Like starting a business or maintaining a business and working for yourself requires almost 80% of my time and energy, which leaves very little time for anything else or anyone else. I got that dash cam rolling, you know, and it's just a GoPro, like, it's a GoPro 3, it's not even like the 4 or the 5, or I'm sure they're gonna come out with the 6 here any minute now, but photography is what I enjoy most, and I wish, I don't even have enough time for that, so, I don't know, I'm just getting weird, and getting kind of worn thin, um, kind of really looking forward to 2017 and getting a lot of shit done then. Anyways, for now, just you'll, I'm sure you'll see this time lapse probably right now. So I just bought a drone, uh, it's a Zero Explorer G, which means it could take a GoPro, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly it illegally, but I just really want to try it out, I'm gonna get it registered and everything, but I really, really just want to try it out. Hopefully no one's using this field, and hopefully I don't hurt myself or anyone else. Okay. So that was way scarier than I thought it would be. It was my first time flying, and I don't know, there's just way too many people here, it's dark out. We're gonna have to wait. I have a wedding tomorrow, I'll probably have to wait till Sunday, maybe Monday to try it again. Uh, it's exhilarating, it's so much fun, but it's also super scary. It's gonna take me a little bit, it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to it, but I'm sure I'll figure it out soon. Okay, it is November 5th, 2016. It's my little brother Trevor, what the hell is that? Ghosts. It's my little brother Trevor's birthday. Mm, 12, I'm gonna say. 13? It's birthday. Happy birthday, Trevor. Love you very much. Okay, so I am actually heading to a wedding right now. Um, it's near downtown Tucson, actually right by where I used to live. It's a little, it's like an old house that was converted into like a law firm, but then the law firm moved out, so now it's a wedding venue. Super cool, super old town, tucson -y. Pretty excited, I'm actually only doing video today, which is, it's been a while since I've done a full length wedding, just video. I've been doing a lot of photo video combos where I'm kind of splitting my, my talents between the two. I'm really excited to focus all my talents uh, and all my ability on just a video. So, that being said, I've had a rough couple of days. I've had a rough week, to be honest, I think one of the things I like about vlogging is that it kind of forces me to be in a good mood or at least make me kind of smile or kind of make me, you know, I don't want to be all pouty and mad and grumpy on the vlog. So vlogging makes me, it, it almost cheers me up in a weird, like, I thought I'd have to fake it, but I don't want to fake it. So it just forces me to change my attitude, which I really appreciate. I don't think it would be that way any other way. Anyways, I'm probably like, running a little late, actually no. I'm running late to be early. Um, so let's be there at 2.30, I'm gonna get there at two. So I'm leaving now, I'm gonna get a Red Bull, and 
I'll be on my way. I'll check in maybe during the wedding, maybe after the wedding. Who knows? Okay. Bye, Zuko. I need lotion. Pro tip. You're going to be shaking a lot of people's hands. You need lotion. All right, here we go, for reals. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about, I wanna talk about being a millennial. So I wanna talk about the combination of my goals, my life, and my family. Uh, and trying to sort of balance all the things that are really important to me. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is my job and I'm a photographer I'm a professional photographer and I love it uh, the thing is when you're starting out um, it's hard it's hard like I'm uh, for my first year I was and all through college actually I was delivering pizzas to supplement my income uh, I ended up getting fired from that job because it was freaking awful complete bogus crap and when I got fired, that was really sort of, it was the beginning of, when I got fired, it was the beginning of 2014. I think it was in February. And uh, I had a lot of money saved up and I decided, fuck it, I'm not gonna get another job. I'm just gonna do photography. And here I am almost three years later and I'm still not broke, which is to me amazing. Uh, at the same time, it's been hard. There are times where I wanted to, to give in and really cut, really spreading it thin uh, financially. And I was so afraid that if I got another job that I would just be stuck doing that and that it would put my dreams, it would put me further away from my dreams. Like I can't tell you how many people I know who are musicians, who are painters, who are poets, who, you know, are stuck in the food industry or, stuck working dead-end jobs. I like Tucson because I don't have to work nearly as much as other places. I can still have somewhat of a semblance of a social life and I get to do a lot of things that I want to do without, you know, which kind of keeps me sane. So, but that being said, I live in, I'm here in Tucson and my entire family is in San Diego and I only get to see them three, maybe four times a year. Five of my eight aunts and uncles um, most of my cousins, um, they're all there. They're all there and they hang out on a regular basis and I always see their Snapchats of them hanging out and part of me really misses that. Part of me, uh, it, it definitely feels like an empty void. Um, but they all support me. They all understand that this, you know, that I'm trying to pursue my dream. I'm trying to... I, they, they, if, they, if I think that this is the best way to get there, then they're going to support me. So I'm super appreciative of that. But the hard thing is when there's a crisis, when something goes wrong, when someone gets sick in my family, I, I feel so helpless being here. Um, there's only so much emotion or there's only so much support you can convey over the phone. And one of the things I really miss is just being able to give my family a hug, which leads me ultimately to my my main point is this idea that millennials are doing things differently. Whatever your definition of a millennial may be, my definition of millennial is someone who grew up entering the digital age, which meant your life largely revolved around the economic and socio, I guess the socioeconomic change that happened uh, with the technology boom. Um, and because that, I think technology drastically changed culture, it changed society, it changed American ways of, of doing things. So, um, knowing how life was before the internet and after the internet, definitely pro-internet. Um, which makes this easier. This makes, it makes being away from family and those I love a little bit easier because I don't have to just read a letter or see an email or just get some text anymore. I can actually see their faces. I can see them talking to me. I can Skype them, FaceTime them, Snapchat them, and it just makes life simpler. I was trying to tell my grandpa was a photographer and he's like, my grandpa was like, are you too good for a real job? And I was like, no, this is a real job. I'm making money. 
he's like can't be making that much money and I was kind of I was kind of heard about it but you know he's he's like 70 something years old he's gonna say what he wants to say he's but my favorite thing I think about being a millennial is that you don't have to do things a conventional way you can do them your own way and do it with a lot of success make sure that you can have a coexistence between what you love and what you need to do and what's important to you I'm allowed to be who I want to be I don't have to put on some fake ass customer service smile I don't have to I don't have to buy, abide by some some guidebook or some bylaws or some crazy rule so that I can maximize my profit so I can maximize you know my bottom line my bottom line is making people happy and the better I and the more I can do that regardless of how many hours it takes it will make me happy and I will feel successful which I love that I don't think that flew even 10 years ago I don't think that's how it worked 20 years ago so I'm really really fortunate to live in a society in a generation as a millennial that allows me to pursue my happiness the way I want to do it I don't want to I feel like happiness before was was really heavily defined um, it was like you had a good job you had a family you lived in a two-story house you had two cars dinner was ready when you came home it was super cookie cutter and I'm so glad that that's not our lives anymore as 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 Millennials anyways I don't know if any of this rant is useful uh, probably not hopefully hopefully I can <laughs> I can edit some sort of coherence here but basically the point is Millennials have the very rare opportunity to as millennial, it's just easy to do things your own way. I don't feel like I have to choose between family or friends or money or a love life. I feel like because of millennials and this generation and technology that I can combine all those and find a nice coexistence, a nice balance between all of that, which makes my life, my goals that much easier.